So, now we're on to monolith number two, which is the Gaia Cliff monolith where you fight Treant. Now, it does recommend to be at least level 20 and with two players. However, I'm going to show you the good pattern, some good hiding places as well, so you can get this done solo should you want to. So, from the get-go, the second you spawn in, there are some enemies, so just quickly make peace with them. And then you just need to jump into that beautiful little uh, glistening light there. If you jump, it gives you an extra jump boost. Jump into that and then your cutscene will start. So I do recommend you bring a sniper rifle for this enemy, only because it's easier so you don't have to keep traversing over to any enemies that may respawn. However, if you want to do that, absolutely fine. What will happen is if these respawn, the monster in the middle that you're fighting, Trian, will actually become submissive. He won't do anything, he just stands still whilst enemies spawn around him and then things try to attack you. So there are ultimately three tentacles here that you do need to shoot and they do spawn out enemies and little orbs that can hurt you as well. Now if you want to shoot them like I am absolutely fine. As you see that other one is just a little bit too far away so I might jump in and join that one over there. Like I said they all spawn enemies. There's also some enemies on the ground as well that you might want to take out. And if you give the enemy an opportunity to go submissive again they do respawn and then they do respawn enemies as well. So just be careful of that during the match. Just be aware of your surroundings. So now all three tentacles are dead, I can now start shooting the main enemy, his force field is now lifted, he's no longer immune. As you can see, this tree and enemy is so cool, it actually has a person, what looks like a person on the top, and this is where the pattern happens. So she will spew out these six globes, and if they hit you, and they do track you, and they hit you, you get damage. The actual tree and monster itself actually gives you a hyper beam, and that's the thing you really need to avoid, it can really hurt you and down you. So as you can see, I've just hidden behind that bus for protection, and this is pretty much where you could do the whole game if you wanted to. I'm going to jump around, and as you can see, the pattern's now starting to enforce. Here are the six globes. You've got to shoot them out so they don't hurt you, and avoid the hyper beam at all costs. Like I said, be careful of your surroundings. There are enemies that will randomly spawn, as well as in tentacles if you give them the opportunity to. Sometimes with this boss, it is so quick paced for just one person. It might end up that you have to miss a go before the hyper beam hits you again. So just take your time, take a breath with it. It will happen. As you can see, I'm making good progress on the damage. What you might have noticed as well is on the left hand side, it's giving me a countdown timer of when I need to get this boss completed by, or otherwise things are going to start to reload, such as then tentacles and other enemies. Now I'm going to purposely let this run down so you can see how that all comes up and what I might decide to do at that point. So after V's warning of the 20 second countdown, you can see the tentacles have now reappeared. They are in all three places again. So yes, there is one behind me. Yes, I did forget. Yes, I'm going to kill it straight away. <laughs> 
So again, this is a reason why I do recommend bringing a sniper rifle with you, especially a high-powered one, so you can hit them distant shots without, again, having to go down and go around and try and get to them tentacles yourself. As you can see, though, I'm just going to go and pick a new location to keep this video interesting. So I've moved over to this ledge that doesn't really have a hiding space. However, if you do go right the way back as far as you can on that cliff face, basically as far away from Trient as you can get, it does stop the hyper beam. It can only reach so far, so you can avoid it from here. It's not impossible. Unfortunately, we were just too good for Trient, and he meets his demise. So again, go over there, make sure to get your loot, make sure to collect any deviant that might have been sitting there as well. Don't forget them, or you'll have to do it again. Um, and then when you're ready to leave this dungeon, make sure to go near the blue area, press on G. Don't forget you can do this again and again if you want to, and you do have the tempting button there to click on challenge again.